Hello everyone, this is a follow-up to my last video of how to implement multiplayer into Unity's karting microgame. This video will have updated scripts and methods to get this working in the latest versions of Unity, Mirror, and the karting microgame template. Please like and subscribe if you find this useful. First thing I'm going to do is start up Unity Hub. Then I'm going to go and install the latest version of Unity. It's important that we include Visual Studio. We don't want Android build support, but yes, we need this Windows build support and the documentation. Once the installation's done, we're going to click on Projects. We're going to make a new project using the 2022 version. going to wait for the karting microgame to show up in this list. We'll just click download. And then we're going to click create. Once the installation is done, we can click OK. Now I'm just going to close this window. I'm going to expand our main scene to have a look. And then what we'll do is we'll add the mirror package. We'll search for mirror. Try searching for that again. We're going to update it for the new version of Unity. And then we're going to import it. And now that's done, we're just going to close this. And we'll have a look to see that it's made it in. Ah, here we go, under assets. The next thing we need to do is create the network manager. So we're just going to go up to the main scene, right click and go 
game object, create empty, call it network manager. Then we'll go add component, search for network, and then add the network manager. And then we're going to add the network manager HUD. The next thing we're going to do is create our two spawn points. So we're going to go back up here. We're going to create another empty game object and we'll call it spawn points. We'll create the first one. And where is that? It's over there. Let's move it here. This looks fine. Move it forward a little bit. Looks okay. Then we're going to add the network start position. Then we're going to duplicate this. Then we're going to move it to the right a little bit so that they don't spawn in each other. And then we're going to rename this to spawn2. Now we need to make them prefab. So what I like to do is create a new folder called prefabs. And we'll drag in these two spawn points as prefabs. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the network transform component to the Kart Classic player. We're going to give it client authority. Then we're going to drag this down to our prefabs folder. We'll click original prefab. Then we'll go to our network manager. And then we'll assign this as the player prefab by dragging it in there. Then we should be able to press play and then click host a server and be able to drive around. Now the reason two of them spawned was because I hadn't deleted this from the scene. So if I delete that and press play again, The next thing we're going to do is we're going to find the ASM definition file for the cart game so we can add in the mirror framework. So we'll just search for this. And there's this one here. So we just need to click plus sign and add in mirror. And then to apply it, we just need to click out of there. Now we can trace through the input scripts and we can add in the mirror framework. So we're going to go to our prefab. Double click on it. Right click on keyboard input and we'll edit that. By the way, if all of this text is not in color, that's a problem and that needs to be fixed for this to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the control key and click on base input. At the top, I'm going to implement mirror. And then change this to network behavior. And save that. Go back to the keyboard input script. Now this time what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go back to my old video. And in the description I've actually got the script to fix the issue with the previous version. So we're just going to copy that. We're just going to paste it all over the top. I'm going to save it. And then we're going to give it a test. what we can do is we can compile the game so we can do a test 
looks like it's got an error. So let's just try opening this intro menu. And save it. We'll go back to our main scene. We'll try again. For some reason, the Unity app seems to be having some issues with the new version. So what I did was I closed down Unity and I actually, um, for some reason, it's created these two project folders that have pretty much the same size. Um, not sure why, but what I did was I ended up renaming uh, this one to Karting because that's what it was complaining about missing and then it seemed to start working. So we're just going to keep going and hope uh, you don't have the same issue. So now that that's working, we should be able to compile and run two instances of the game and get some basic networking working without, of course, the camera working yet. this off we're just going to make it so when the player spawns it's going to look for the cinema machine virtual camera and it's going to tell it to follow the player so what we'll do is we're going to go back to our prefab player we're going to open that up we're going to create a new script called follow player edit the script now we want to use uh, mirror set this to network behavior and then when this wakes up or starts up rather what it's going to do is it's going to find the game object so is it game object dot find it's gonna find game object with tag now what we need to do is we need to go back to our project and we need to tag it so we're gonna go back to the cinema machine virtual camera we're gonna tag it as main camera so it's got a capital M and a capital C and we want to find the um, whoops, dot, uh, we want to get the component cinema machine dot
virtual camera. I'm just winging it, hoping I'm going to get it right first time. Alright, so the look at. Yep. So we want to set that as <coughs> this game object. Yep. And then we're going to want to modify the. There's a follow one, hopefully it's m underscore follow, yep. And we'll make it the same thing and save that. Hopefully everything will just work. what I did wrong and that was I didn't make it so if it's the local player so if this is local player then do that otherwise it's gonna run for every player and that's gonna have weird consequences so let's try that again concludes our video. Like I said, if you find this useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.